And joining us now is Dr. Shayar Kavusi, and we're going to be talking about infertility and when it may become too difficult for a woman to have a baby. Some sensitive topics for some, and something we were talking about briefly during the break is uh, something that maybe some women and men don't feel comfortable talking about, maybe some shame, and there shouldn't be, and there's lots of people in that same boat with many questions. And that's right. There are uh, quite a few people who have difficulty getting pregnant. Uh, about one in seven couples in the United States mm -hmm. have a difficult time getting pregnant within a year if they're under 35, within six months if they're over 35. Something we were talking about too, you know, of course there's not one age where a woman can no longer have a baby, but of course the older a woman gets the more difficult. Is there an average age or an age range? Well, in general um, population statistics, in the mid-30s, a woman has about a 20 to 25 percent chance of getting pregnant per month. Okay. So that's already not very efficient if you think about that, right. 20 to 25 percent chance a month. But those are the people you hear about having um, children quickly. They say, I got pregnant like that in mm -hmm. the snap of a finger. Um, at about age 40, it's about a 5 percent chance per month okay. naturally without assistance, basically. Mm -hmm. So between, uh, it's thought that between ages 37 and 40 for a woman, that's when the pregnancy rates start dropping, um, but not for every woman, but for the most part over the general population. And that's mostly due to egg quality or egg number. That's, that's the thought behind that. Okay, yeah, I was going to ask in addition to age, what else um, are some common problems? Well, some common problems are when a woman does not cycle every month or does not release an egg every month, also known as not ovulating every uh -huh. month. Um, so they don't get a monthly chance of getting pregnant. They don't get a fair chance every month if they don't ovulate every month. Um, there can be anatomic issues also with the fallopian tubes or the uterus, might be abnormalities there right. or a blockage in the fallopian tube so that the sperm can't get to the egg uh, or abnormalities in the uterus where um, the embryo cannot implant or has a difficult time staying there or implanting. Um, there's male factor as well. There could be sperm analysis parameters that are decreased. There could be things inside the woman's pelvis like endometriosis or scar tissue which also can make it hard to get pregnant sometimes. So. You mentioned male problems, and that's definitely something we want to talk about. It's not just women. More often, women have the problem, but, but men have problems being fertile as well. That's right. About 40% of couples who come in for an evaluation or treatment um, have a male partner that has abnormal sperm analysis. So it's more common than people think that there could be a male problem as well. Okay, and assisted reproductive technology. Let's talk about that and, and the assistance that's out there today and, and how helpful it is. It's, it's, it depends on the candidate, it depends on the couple, but it can be very helpful. There are a lot of things that can be overcome with assisted reproduction that you can't overcome, um, quote unquote, naturally. So right. um, when you have a in vitro fertilization lab that can do procedures, um, put the sperm and egg together, help with fertilization, actually see eggs fertilize, see embryos develop, and actually put an embryo or several embryos in the uterus um, from below, you can ensure that embryos get in the uterus. Okay. So. Um, it's hard to make them implant, but we can put them in the uterus and hopefully you'll have implantation at that point for okay. the patients. So a lot of questions surrounding this subject and we want to mention tonight there's a seminar going on at St. David South Austin. So tell me briefly real quick about that. Uh, the seminar uh, tonight is a seminar that's open to the public mm -hmm. and uh, it's going to cover infertility's underlying factors and treatment options and it's at 6 p.m. tonight at St. David's South Austin Medical Center and a complimentary dinner is provided. Okay, great. Dr. Kabusi, thank you so much for being here with thank us this morning. Thank you very much.